Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshiks mainframe channel. This is Moshiks. Today we're going to look at how to write a Hello World program, the simplest possible program in COBOL on the mainframe. How can we do a series on Hello World about the mainframe and not talk about COBOL? COBOL is the backbone of government, business, uh, transportation. Uh, you couldn't take a flight to go anywhere. You couldn't take a, a toll road. You couldn't uh, um, open up a credit card account or, or a bank account without uh, without incurring COBOL at, at some point. And uh, COBOL was written in the late 50s, developed uh, to enable uh, English to process business logic. That's really, really was the main idea behind it, so that uh, programs didn't have to be written in Fortran. The, the, the program language before COBOL was Fortran, and Fortran is not really a very beautiful long language. And so somebody in the Navy, this lady here, Grace Hopper, who later became, became uh, an admiral, I think, she just died like four or five years ago. Um, she and her team came up with a language um, which stands for um, uh, Common Business Oriented Language, so it's for business, uh, that would use English-like syntax to express business uh, logic. And I think to a very large extent they succeeded. As you have heard uh, a lot in the last few years, a lot of people try to associate COBOL with obsolete. Absolutely not true. Uh, billions of lines of source code uh, written and run in production to this day and many hundreds of millions of lines of COBOL are still being added today. It's just COBOL is going to be here for the next 20-30 years. It's not possible to remove COBOL because also COBOL has a very important place in the infrastructure and the backbone of government business um, and, uh, and the world around us. So let's get to it. Let's remove this. Let's make this. Um, as big as possible so you can see it. Maybe I can make the, the font a little bit bigger here. Let's see. Font 13 by 14. Is it possible to do 13 by 18? Let's see how this looks. Mm, doesn't look much better, but yeah. Anyway, so let's go uh, write the program. Let's program. I have here so as you know, um, all mainframe needs job control language to process anything. This is the bare minimum job control language to uh, compile and link and execute a COBOL program. Typically, your IT department will provide that to you. Uh, but um, I will put this in the description below this video. So if you don't have any, you can copy this. So here's a job card. All this is one job card where we say what the name of the program is. And then here we execute the compiler, the linker procedure and then run the program so clg compile link and go igy uh, that's the name of the COBOL compiler in in the ibm world don't ask and then here you have some of the of the parameters for the compiler um, it's just it's just there's just a very little a very small subsection of the uh, section of all the of all the um, options as you would have with on the Linux or uh, Windows operating systems as well. All those modern compilers have lots and lots of switches. So the same thing here. And then you have a step library, which is the library for the compiler to do its job. Um, that's the version. And then we have the input, which is the source code here we're called moshix.work.program. And the file itself is called hello. It's share, disposition share. And then the output goes here. This looks a little bit complicated than it needs to be. You could just do like this, but um, th this will give us nicer output. Okay, so this is the very, very bare minimum uh, of job control language. And then let's go and, oops, and write our program. So we we'll write it. Uh, let's do columns. So COBOL is uh, position dependent. So let's start here in column number eight and say identification division. And this is how we call the program. Um, program ID, say hello. And then um, we say procedure division. This is where the code is. And then we say display hello world and then stop run. So this should be the very bare minimum program 
to do to write hello world in the output identification division that's one section and then the procedure division i don't think of i don't think it's possible to write the COBOL program with any less than this and actually do something uh, have the program do uh, something so let's go out of this and let's go to the jcl which is this one and we just submit it let's see what happens 2985 oh so condition maximum condition code zero so this one through let's go uh, look at the output viewer what i do here is i go m for more okay then i take um, sd i'm running here on a real mainframe at the university of leipzig in germany um, very friendly folks have granted me an account very graciously so spool um, search and display facility spool viewer and here we go h and let's look here what happened so this is the log of the execution of the compile the linker and then of the program itself so you can see here enterprise COBOL for ZOS version 340 I think there's a newer version already um, and then it just tells us that we don't need to understand any of this over time you will start to understand but here is the output from the compiler itself okay IBM enterprise COBOL for ZOS version 3.4.1 uh, from okay today is the 25th of March and here's our program the source code and this is what the compiler does with it okay tells us everything today we don't need to understand all of that and then here we have the linker linkage editor which links the program tells us it does it compiled into 31 bit addressability mode uh, so this is running in 31 bit so this program could address up to two, two gigabytes of memory and here we have hello world okay so it printed hello world so this is um this is the very bare minimum program to write hello world let's look again what we have this is the jcl uh, we looked at that and then we have our little program here right? two divisions two main parts of the program how we call it it needs this part needs to be there and then the second part procedure division display hello world stop and then stop run that's it that's all there is to it everything else check out the manuals but uh, this is what gets you started in COBOL on the mainframe this is what it looks like anyway if you have any questions please um, uh, post comments below this video if you don't like COBOL let us know why if you love COBOL let me know why um, maybe you could let me know what your pro, pro, favorite programming languages are. I think it's going to be interesting to this channel. And uh, if you work on the mainframe or if you want to learn about the mainframe, let us know why. Anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to the Motion X mainframe channel yet, now's a good time to do it. Thank you very much and goodbye.